my channel if you're new here welcome and if you've been here before welcome back welcome back what's up what's up i am starting a three day that i picked up and i just tried to go through security and i got randomed so now we're about to go through security took the train in today so yeah oh good news well i guess bad news my flight is freaking delayed like three hours so i had three legs today but they're all gonna be pushed back because yeah my the flight coming in that we're supposed to take is delayed three hours Okay, so I made it to, well, we made it to Chicago Midway. That flight that was, our first flight was delayed like two hours. And we literally sat on the plane after for like an hour, waiting on paperwork, lost people, and some more. So yeah, there's that. So now we're in Midway, trying to find coffee, because we won't get into Sarasota until, I don't know, almost three in the morning, because you know, the time changes. So yeah, right now, let's just say it's a struggle. And I'm just, I want some real food. And this airport don't have no real food. Quick little update. So we are still in Nashville. Oh shoot, no, lie. We are still in Chicago. I'm trying to make to Nashville and our flight to, from Nashville to Sarasota is now showing no passengers. And we exited our duty day max. We're about to be on duty for 13 hours. Imagine that. Well, we landed at 4 a.m. Wait until I tell you the story because you probably won't believe it. But I'm gonna tell it to you anyway. Okay, so I really wanna give you guys a detailed like, why did I land in the plane at 4.30 a.m.? Why did my last flight board at midnight? I have a lot of whys, but right now I'm really tired. So I first want to get into this hotel tour because this hotel is amazing. We are over morning because I can't say overnight because nighttime has gone. We are over morning in, it doesn't even make sense. But anyway, in Sarasota, my sister's here and I will show her later because it's not about her right now, it's about me and my exhaustion. So let's do the hotel tour and then I'll kind of explain what happened, okay? three-day trip somebody put money on it I was super excited then I wake up this morning just to come to find out that my first flight is delayed by two hours right it's delayed two hours okay then I look and my second flight and my third flight are also delayed by two hours because both the planes were coming from Florida which made everything late because Florida had a winter storm today so we get the first flight is is delayed like now three hours by the time we take off our second flight we were in Chicago and literally there was a paperwork issue and they couldn't get it figured out. We were over, almost like four and a half hours late just in Chicago. And we were taking that same plane to Sarasota. So that's why we boarded at midnight. And with, you know, daylight saving and time changing, we got here at, it's now 4.57 and I'm about to take off my uniform and go to bed just to wake up to get breakfast at 10 a.m. So, say good morning but it's more like afternoon because it is 12 51 and my sister and I are off to go find some food it's a little chillier than we expected it's like 59 60 degrees so I mean you take what you can get but we're still gonna try to enjoy some of this you know sunlight before I have to head out and do my next two legs y'all as I sleepily entirely explained early this morning that everything that happened. But you know, that is the unglamorous side of being a flight attendant. 
you know sometimes you gotta sleep in the airport when you're trying to commute home sometimes your lovely eight hour duty day turns into a 13 hour duty day you just you just don't know so that's just kind of how it happens so we're gonna spend a few hours here in sarasota together before i have to take off and before, my, before my sister has to take off so we're off to find food we might go to the beach but it's chilly so i might be on the beach in like a hoodie but y'all know like that's it so i'm gonna give you some good views of sarasota and let's keep this journey going <laughs> Finally made it to the beach. It's nice. Like the sun is out, but I'm happy the sun is out because when it start, the wind starts to blow, it get a little chilly. And then, so we only have like one more hour of like free time before we have to actually go to work, which sucks. Because my brain and my body feels like I'm on vacation at this point. So there's that. But it's a little bit of a beach day. Alright guys, that's a wrap on my time in Sarasota. So now I'm about to go catch the van. And we have two flights today from Sarasota to Atlanta and then Atlanta to Columbus. So far, we're not delayed. We were delayed like 12 minutes, but now it changed to back to regular time. So let's get it, let's go. Okay, here's a little update. We just landed into Atlanta and we got off without a hitch. We actually, we mean, we left a little late, but we're still on time and we're set to be on time to at least board and attempt to get out of Atlanta and then that's the only flight that we have left for today and then we're going to be overnight in Columbus and I can't wait to you know be ratchet in Columbus because I deserve it okay y'all look we made it to where are we made it to Columbus it was like I said before like I said before, it was only two flights. So I'm gonna do a hotel tour and I'm going downstairs to get something to eat because I'm starving. Like, your girl is starved. I ain't did not need a piece of makeup today or nothing. But it's okay. We are just going to, you know, make it do what it do. And yeah, my three day trip is almost over. Tomorrow's go home day. <music> So London and I are about to explore Columbus, just for a little bit. Um, I feel like yesterday was a really regular day. Today, I guess I'll try to do more filming, but I have been tired. So the idea of working six days in a row, in theory, it sounds great. I'm sure the money will be amazing, but I'm tired. And then I only have one day off before I have to work three days again. And I'm not scheduled to get in until like midnight tonight. So that's that. But y'all know how this goes. I'm always tired. So I guess there's nothing new. So we out here. Do not look at my wig because it's been blown in the wind. I didn't have to take one of my eyelashes off. But I'm going to be better. I'm going to be better for sure. So I had a very interesting last flight. So we're flying into Denver and we're on the active taxi bay and someone raised their call button because she couldn't breathe. So I think we had our first medical and I think we handled it really well. Um, it definitely shakes you up a little bit because you know how to handle it, but you don't know how to handle it, if that makes sense. But all in all, 
it was a great team effort. We still have to write an IR, but that is how we end our ended our lovely three day trip with a potential medical. I have your okay, good morning, Sharpies. Um, it's a new day. I never finished filming my vlog because I was taking the train at like one in the morning. Um, I got a little harassed by some homeless people. It was an interesting experience. They kept trying to get me to let them use my phone to call their ride and I was waiting for my Uber from the train station. So last night was an adventure. I did tell you guys that we had a semi-medical. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail because I really don't remember if I went into detail before when I filmed yesterday. So pretty much um, we land and we're waiting for our gate to become free and someone rings their call button. So I get on the PA and I'm like, hey, we're on an exit taxi. Um, so we need everyone to stay seated, including ourselves. However, if it's an emergency, go ahead and re-ring your call button. If it's not an emergency, go ahead and turn it off. So the call button rings again. So me and the B both get up out of our jump seats and we head over. I get to the girl first and pretty much she's she looks like super stressed in the face. Like she was sweating, her mask was down and she was pretty much like, I can't breathe, like I can't breathe. So my first thing was like, okay grab the bag, take some deep breaths into the bag. She said, I've been doing it. It's not working. So I'm like, okay, um, have you been drinking water? Did you eat? And she's like, no, I haven't really eaten today. Um, but I've been drinking water. So I'm thinking like, maybe we need to get her some snacks. So then the bee comes over and she's like, what's going on? I'm like, she's having trouble breathing. Um, you stay here. I'm going to go call the pilots. Um, so I get back up front. I call up front. I let the sea know what was going on um I called the pilots and I let them know like hey we got someone back here that said that she can't breathe um I'm gonna go talk with the bee and I think while I was gone the bee offered her like do you want oxygen or what have you so I'm on the phone they're like well duh, do you want the paramedics to meet us and I'm like she's okay but I'd say yes to be sure but let me go get some more information from her and I'll call you right back so they're like okay cool so I go over to her and um, me and the bee are pretty much problem solving because you have these moments and you're like, oh my gosh, right? So we're like, do you want some oxygen? And she's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and I'm like, well, are you traveling with anyone? No, she was traveling alone. This is her first time traveling. And I'm like, okay, well, do you want the paramedics to meet you to get you checked out to make sure you're okay? And she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, well. I don't know is not a no, so I'd rather do more versus do less. Um, so I'm like, okay. I told the B stayed with her. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go call them back. Because she was kind of closer to the front, so the phone was just closer for me to get to. And I'm just like, okay. So I call the front. I'm like, let's have the paramedics meet her. And then they can assess the situation and make sure it's all okay. Um, and then... Uh, the bee offered her oxygen. So I went back to the girl. The bee went to go get the POB. But by the time we did that, we kind of pulled up to the gate. And the girl was like, no, I don't want the oxygen. So we never had to use the POB. Um, and yeah, so then I had everyone stay seated while we waited for the paramedics. But they took a minute. So I started to deplane. So we started to deplane. And um, the girl was like, I'm good to get off, but the paramedics, I got there. So there was a supervisor waiting in the jet bridge. The captain kind of walked out, made sure the supervisors got the girl and the paramedics still checked her out just to make sure everything was okay. But that was like our little medical situation. So yeah, but that's pretty much the end of my three-day trip. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I have good news. Your girl's finally monetized. So if you're free, if you're bored, if you get a chance, go ahead and rewatch some of my old videos and make sure you let those ads play all the way through so we can get to the coin. Thanks guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.